loved ones, thank you so much for joining us on this special day and a special uh, occasion uh, for John and Faye. We've come together here in the sight of God and in the presence of this congregation to join together John and Faye in marriage. Let's begin this ceremony with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for a sovereign God, for one who knows, for one who guides, one who leads. We think of the story of John and Fay, and we're grateful for your directing to this day. We're grateful for the lives joining together. We ask your favor on this ceremony, on this day. We love you. Thank you for making it all possible. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. It's in Ephesians chapter 5 that the Apostle Paul quotes from Genesis and makes a remarkable application regarding marriage when he says this, For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. He then says this, This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. In other words, God's purpose for marriage, for your marriage today, is that together you would be a living, breathing, walking display of Christ's love, of Christ's love for his people, of Christ's love to the world around you who don't really know what true love is unless they know Jesus. And so marriage today, marriage in general, is meant to point to a greater reality beyond the couple. It's meant to be a picture of the beautiful love that Christ showed when he came, when he came to die for us, when he rose again, and when he made us his people. At this time, John has prepared something uh, for faith. I'm going to get this microphone so that we can all hear as well. I rewrote this about four o'clock this morning, so <laughs> um, hey, we talked sometime before we met, and that's the day I'll never forget. All I looked, as I looked into your eyes, your pretty face, and when we held each other in a sweet embrace, I didn't, I didn't just see the beauty in your face, but the beautiful person from within you. I knew my search had come to an end, and I think of you all the time, from when I wake up until I fall asleep. I know you are the one who holds the key to my heart. I know we are meant to be together. Seeing your smile changes my whole day. Just know I will always love you, and my feelings will never go away. I love you. Give all of us a time to regather from that. Yeah. <laughs> At this time, the couple, will the couple will declare their intent for one another. John, will you have Faye as your wife to live together as God has ordained? In the holy state of matrimony, will you love her, cherish her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. And Faye, will you have John as your husband to live together as God has ordained in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love and submit to him, honor and protect him in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. I will. The couple will now exchange their vows. John, if you'll repeat after me. I, John, take you, Faye. I, John, take you, Faye. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. 
in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish. To love and cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And Faye, will you repeat these words after me? I, Faye, take you, John. I, Faye, take you, John. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better. Or for worse, for richer or for poorer, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love, cherish, and obey, to love, cherish, and obey, till death do us part, to death do us part. For years, rings have been used to seal covenants. And we have the rings here this morning. I'd like to call your attention, though, before we give these rings to three ways in which these rings are symbolic. First, these rings are made of precious metal of great value. These rings cost you something, but it was worth the sacrifice. This truth is only going to be amplified in your marriage. You know, a beautiful marriage will cost you something. It'll cost you hard work and time and sacrifice and yet that is a treasure that will be worth the cost secondly these rings are made of a substance that will endure extreme conditions and no matter how happy and excited the two you are today you can rest assured in the days ahead your marriage will be tested by extreme conditions they'll tempt you to forget the vows we just made today so let these rings Remind you that your vows are meant to endure even the most extreme conditions. And thirdly, this ring is a never ending circle. And let this remind you that the love you vow to each other today is not a feeling, it's a choice that should have no end. Just as this circle continues in your ring, so will your love continue for one another. So John, would you please place this ring <coughs> on the third finger of Faye's left hand? And as you do, John, do you give this ring as a symbol of your love to Faye? I do. And Faye, will you accept this ring as a symbol of John's love? And will you wear it always as a reminder of your love to him? I will. Now, Faye, if you'll please... Place this ring on the third finger of John's left hand. And Faye, do you give this ring as a symbol of your love for John? I will. John, will you accept this ring as a symbol of Faye's love and will you wear it always as a reminder of your love to her? I will. Let's pray in prayer of dedication in this couple of this time. Heavenly Father, we come to you on a special day, Valentine's Day. A day we consider love. Of course, none of us would know what love is apart from you. You showed us the greatest love for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And we are grateful for your love for us. The church is called the bride of Christ. What a wonderful picture of marriage. Lord, as we see uh, these two joined together in marriage, John and Faye, may their love be a picture of your love for us. May their love continue through difficult times. Would you draw them closer to you and closer to each other? We dedicate their lives and this marriage to you today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> well, for as much as John and Faye, have considered together in holy wedlock and declared their vows before God and these witnesses. By the authority invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. John, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> It's my great privilege to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. John Burgoon.
Now, John and Faye have prepared a reception here for everyone, and it's here in our fellowship hall. And so as you exit these doors, you'll go in the next set of doors, and uh, it's all uh, prepared there for you today. And Neil, and they've requested that you join them. God bless you. You're dismissed.